Hey everyone, today we are going to look at the microbiological aspect of syphilis, the king of STDs. Syphilis is caused by an organism called Treponema pallidum. It belongs to the spirochete family. It is a thin, delicate organism with tapering ends. It has about 10 spirals that make up its body. It is actively motile due to the presence of endoflagella. It is important to remember that treponema does not take on ordinary stains. Treponema is inactivated by heat and cold. This is one reason why blood in banks is stored at low temperature for a prolonged period of time to inactivate the bacteria. Treponema is also sensitive to soap, antiseptics and antibiotics. Syphilis can be transmitted through any form of sexual contact and it is not limited to intercourse. It can also be spread by direct contact in its most infectious phase, that is secondary syphilis. In such cases, the chancre is extragenital. Another method of transmission is through contaminated blood transfusion. In this case, the chancre is absent. Syphilis can also be passed down to the fetus through the transplacental route. The pathogenesis of syphilis is simple. After some form of sexual contact with an infected person, the treponemes enter your body through minute abrasions on the skin or the mucosa. It commonly affects the genitals in both the sexes, that is males and females. After an incubation period of 9 to 90 days, a hard chancre forms, which is an important characteristic of primary syphilis. Syphilis is a majorly chronic infection, ranging from a few days to several decades. It is divided into primary, secondary, tertiary, latent and congenital syphilis each of which have different features and clinical manifestations. Do check out our video on syphilis to know more about this. Link is in the description below. Let us move on to the laboratory diagnosis of treponema infection or syphilis. It is important to remember that it cannot be cultured in artificial media, so this method is not used for diagnosis. Microscopy is a good way to diagnose syphilis. There are few specific stains on which it is easily visualized. Those are dark ground microscopy, direct fluorescent microscopy and silver impregnation. The most definitive way of diagnosing syphilis is that of serology by running tests on the individual's blood. Serology can be of two types non-specific and specific. BDRL and RPR are the most widely used non-specific methods, while FTA-ABS is the most important specific tests. Even if a person tests positive on a non-specific test, we have to reconfirm for syphilis using a specific test. Primary syphilis is best detected by microscopy by simply taking a swab of the lesion and staining it to reveal the treponemes. In case of recent infection, serology might not reveal the underlying bacteria. However, the advantage of serology is that along with secondary and tertiary phases, it can also help to detect latent syphilis, which is impossible to diagnose clinically. For the treatment of syphilis, all the forms respond to one single drug, the most famous antibiotic, that is penicillin. Penicillin G is the drug of choice and usually the long-acting form of the medicine is used and it is normally administered intramuscularly. If a person is allergic to penicillin, tetracycline is an alternative but it does not work as effectively against the treponemes. In such cases, we have to desensitize the patient to penicillin and follow the same course of treatment. An important part of treatment is a systemic reaction called yarish herxheimer reaction, which we will look at in detail in another video. Syphilis is a disease that can be transmitted very easily. 
the best methods of prevention are practicing monogamy or simply avoiding multiple sexual partners in cases where monogamy isn't favored it is absolutely necessary to use a condom always practice safe sex better safe than syphilis another thing to avoid is recreational drugs which can cause the spread of numerous infectious diseases including syphilis i hope this video helps you remember everything important about syphilis don't forget to subscribe to our channel